innovation and a curiosity to design and build things has been intrinsic in me since a very young age. Growing up in London, I was very aware of the pollution all around us. We all know tyres wear down, but never stop to consider where it all goes. Tyre particles are actually the second largest microplastic pollutant in our oceans. Today, half a million tonnes of tyre wear particles are produced annually across Europe. So every time we accelerate, break and corner, it enters our waterways, uh, the air we breathe, and there's nothing to stop it. So it's, it's all around us, and I think that in itself was quite overwhelming. How do we go about trying to tackle this problem at all? At the Tyre Collective, we are working on solutions to save our air from tyre wear. This is a complex problem and one that we couldn't tackle as individuals. So our strength lies in our diversity. We have backgrounds in engineering, architecture, interaction design and kinesiology and come from all four corners of the globe. All of us have a passion to try and design for real social and environmental impact. So that's how we came across uh, tyre wear, which is you know, a microplastic, but also an air pollutant too. We found that tyre particles are positively charged due to friction with the road. That led us to the innovation that we could capture it directly at the tyre while it's being produced and stop it from entering the wider environment. We currently capture 60% of all tyre wear emissions as they're produced right at the wheel and by doing so are more effective than other solutions operating at the roadside. Once collected, we can process tyre particles to be reused in a variety of applications, from new tyre production to inks and dyes, thereby creating a closed loop system. If our device was fitted to every vehicle in London, we would have the potential to capture tonnes of tyre wear particles every year, protecting our waterways, the air we breathe, and adding value to this potential waste stream. During lockdown, I think we've all realised that clean cities and clean air is no longer an impossible dream. It's not an easy journey to go down, but one that we can come to together through innovation and through perseverance.